Welcome back to Poems and Stories to Remember. Hi, dreamers. Okay, so I was going to upload the video on um, 824, which would have been tomorrow. But um, due to requests um, from one of my subscribers in my uh, comment section that they missed out on um, my poems and my inspirational words, I decided to upload the video a day early. I will go back to uploading again on Sunday. It's just that I had some things I had to take care of. I wasn't feeling well. Um, Sunday, I was I was dealing with migraines. I You know, I suffer from migraines. So I was dealing with migraines and stuff like that. But I just want to let you know I am working on other things too. So I wanted to start the announcements for today to let you know that we are currently in the pop-up cache too. So it, are all the people that I named on that list that were eligible for the pop-up cache too, stay tuned. As I said, uh, I will be popping in for that. This video is not for that. This is not a pop-up. This is actually a, a video that's going to be um, titled by request because one of my subscribers really looks forward to hearing my poems and and receiving the positive affirmations and stuff, I don't want to leave that person out. And I know there's others that appreciate, but it's also an appreciation for me to see in the comment section that somebody is really affected by that. So I wanted to come on and not leave them um, hanging, okay? So today I'm going to um, go through the announcements real briefly, um, and then I'm going to do a poem. And then I'm going to finish up with positive affirmations. You got this empowering questions. Now, um, our empowering question, you know, I always post an empowering question in the comment section that I definitely are is looking for participation and answer from whatever question that we get. You know, I shuffle through those. I probably will start with the you got this when I get to that, that point after I do the announcements and stuff. I'll start with the you got this um, and then the positive affirmations and I'll finish up with one one empowering question okay so just wanted to let you know so to get back to what i was stating we're in the pop-up cash to uh giveaway right now so you're just basically waiting for me to pop in anyone new that came on you're not eligible um if you if your name is not called so my pop-ups are basically i prepare a list of people that are eligible and then i would pop in at some point and do the contest now, I was planning on doing this one slightly different. So instead of having one winner, I was looking to have three winners. But there's a specific way that I'm setting up the winners. The, I mean, the for you to be able to win. Not for the winners, but for you to be able to win. So I will go over those details when I pop in. I already have the list and how I want to do it. And I'll explain exactly how you fit. And then I'll rename the names because it's going to be categories. So it'll be one category, two category, three category, and I'll explain all that to you. But like I said, we will have three winners this time, not just one. Okay? So stay tuned for that. I've also been working on some other ideas on how I can give back to my subscribers, my dreamers. And I came up with some very good ideas. Um, I won't go into detail right now with those. I can give you a slight hint. That one of the ideals that I came up with is similar to the Dream Team Challenge only in the fact that you would have to have a code. So when I decide to do that, I will let all those who are eligible know and they will be provided with a code and they will be given instructions at that time on what they need to do with their code, okay? So that's just the hint of, of something. But I've been working on a lot of different things and came up with some really good things for the channel. So I'm hoping that everybody continues to participate. As I said, commenting is a way to participate. Answering questions is a way to participate. I'm still working on my um, who am I's for the astrology part. Remember, there's a lot. So it's, I'm going from Aries to Pisces. So I'm working on that. And I can't just write it. I have to be inspired to write about each sign. And what I feel their sign, you know, gives back is, is saying. So I have not finished all those. I've done some, but I haven't finished them. So that's the reason why you haven't really heard me speaking on that anymore. Also, um, 
I took away the tag challenge. Um, and if, if, if you remember, if you were here during that time, that was when I would tag somebody. I would let you know that I was going to tag somebody in that month. I did take that away for a while. That might be something I re-implement back into our channel. Um, and like I said, I have other things that I'm going to be bringing forth, um, especially themed off of participation, okay? So, but as I always do, I always let you know ahead of time so you have enough time and, you know, to do whatever is necessary, okay? So as long as you're watching my videos in its entirety, as long as you're commenting and you keep yourself as a public subscriber, then you shouldn't have any issues with any of my cash giveaways, okay? Now, let's get right to it. I'm going to read a poem today. It's one I already re I've written, and I haven't changed it over. It's still in the book. I'm still copying stuff into my um, other book, as you can see. If you see, I have my acrostics. Oh, yeah, and I still do acrostics for anyone who wants an acrostic. Acrostic is when I take your name and I can break down your name, each letter in your name, and I'll either do a poem or a channel message. You know, if I'm if, if my Heavenly Father says I'm supposed to give you a message from your name, then I will give you a message. If, if it's a poem, then I will write the poem. Okay, who am I? And then the rest is my um, actual stuff I wrote, poems and stuff. These are the ones I already read. I did revisit some of them because I um, revised some of my poems. And I still got some more in the book I have to do. And then I have another book <laughs> of stuff that I got to pull out of here, put over there so it can be um, typed. And um, like I said, I like to put pictures on them now. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that. This one, if you remember, this one was called Sleepless Nights. Sleepless Nights, okay? So sleepless nights keeps my mind wandering, scattered emotions of leaving you pound on my heart, overthinking my choice, now wishing I could take it back. But it was not my choice to leave. The words of let go were written. They were spoken every time you didn't choose me. Those words guide me on my path. They protect me from indecision. I choose me because I know me. There is no doubt in my choices. And what I give is unconditional. My knowledge is beyond the world we reside in. What I've learned is dying to be released. It subconsciously speaks its words to me, guiding me along my path to my purpose. Flashing swiftly all I have experienced, comforting me in my pain. Rewarding me in my gain. Sending signs of encouragement when I felt all hope was gone. I felt the strength you gave me. I looked towards heaven because I'm grateful. Because your guidance showed me love and kept me grounded. So my sleepless nights are spent writing about all the experiences of life you have shown. These experiences pour onto paper like liquid and stain their truths into my poems and stories. Okay? So, yeah, I wanted to rewrite that. I already have a picture in my mind that I'm going to use for this one. So, yeah, I'm glad I reread that. That kind of, like, opened up some. So, I'm also working on new poetry, um, some new who am I's outside of the astrology. Um, have some other things that I'm going to implement into the channel. So, I just wanted to let my dreamers know I did not forget you. Uh, anytime I... Um, you know, don't upload. I will go on the previous, the last video and let you know, you know, especially if it's, if it's due to sickness or a family issue, I will let you know. And this one, I was just, um, basically, like I said, was going to upload it tomorrow, but I'm going to upload today. And I know normally you're used to getting an upload on, on Sunday, but remember, like I said, whenever I do pop-ups, it could be any day of the week. So, just make sure you have the notification bell um, clicked so that you'll be able to um, get anything new that I upload, okay? So I just wanted to make sure of that. So let's go right into the You Got This, okay? You Got This is uh, motivational cards. These are for motivational. Motivational insight, uh, encouraging words, 
It could be anything, but it's used for motivation, okay? So to anyone new subscribing, if you would like to be a dreamer, you must subscribe first and then comment. And when you subscribe, you must public subscribe. That is very important. Public subscribing allows you to be in my cash giveaways, incentive, incentives, any incentives that I do in any gift give, giveaways. For those who are in the United States, I only do the gift giveaways for, for people in the United States. And I, I did one previously. I haven't I've decided to do another one. Um, the theme of my gift giveaways is usually either Christmas or if I uh, meet a goal with the channel, then I would do a gift giveaway, okay? Um, also decided um, that in between, like say you um, are in the United States and you are a chef uh, like Miss Key. Miss Key has a channel, so anybody on here, if you don't know Miss Key, she usually um, comments in our comment section. Please go check out her channel. She cooks live on her channel, and then she posts um, uh, different meals that she prepares. So definitely go look over. So I'm using her as an example because um, I have sponsors who give out, uh, give um, me like gifts and stuff. Um, and when they provide me with gifts, a lot of times I have so much that I really don't need those gifts. So I did uh, let her know that if there was something that she did not have that she wanted in her kitchen that I, you know, let me, I told her to let me know by sending me an email and of what she wanted. And if I have it, I would send it to her. So that goes the same for anybody else. If you are a avid cooker and you love cooking, but you have to re reside in the United States. I can't send it um, out of the country. And you're an avid cook and you love cooking, but you're missing something. You're missing a toaster, um, some type of appliance, a blender, or something like that. Please let me know. Please comment. You can also send me an email to poems and stories to remember at gmail.com. Okay? If you want it to be private, you want everybody in your business. Okay? You can send me an email directly and let me know what this uh, situation is. Because when I initially started my channel, I started my channel to give back. And one of those incentives was the gift giveaway. Uh, the other one was initially cash app. But because, like I said, I received so many people commenting and loving my um, poems and stuff from the Philippines and other countries is the reason why I allowed PayPal to be a part of this channel. Okay. Now, um, you know, in recent past, we have had issues with PayPal. The last one we did not because, like I said, I verified very well. And I know who, when I, when I choose my winners, I know who's, you know, who's getting what. So, so far, you know, it's been good. So hopefully it'll stay good because if I continue to have other issues with PayPal, then I will have to eliminate PayPal. And I don't want to do that. I want to be able to give in, in multiple ways. And these two ways are really good, working good for me. Okay. So let's get back. If you like my content, please click the like button. I'm seeing a lot of views a lot of times and not a lot of likes. I need the likes so other people can view the channels, people, especially my dreamers. If you're going to view my video, please click the like button. If you're going to put a comment, please click the like button. Okay? It goes hand in hand. And it helps me to get my channel out there so other people can see it. Okay? And then if you would like to be aware of other videos click the notification bell that will keep you aware when i'm posting okay so let's get right to it you got this please provide me with you got this messages for my dreamers and anyone new watching we got it now we got one two three four perfect Okay, so we got three, four messages of you got this. I'm going to do the, and these popped out right away. Then I'm going to give you some positive affirmations. I'm going to, this time do this. I'm going to save the um, empower question for last, but I'm going to do these first and then go over these. So, oh, we got it. We got a bunch of them, y'all. So, some of them are ones we had before. But I do see some new ones, so that's good. Okay. So somewhere along the line, I'm getting the notion to go to this before I start the positive 
um, that you got this, okay, to, to pull this up. Somewhere along the line, somebody's worrying him. And if you watch my previous videos, I told you to release the worry to your angels and your heavenly father. That's a negative energy, yo. I understand. We are human. We're human in error. But when you worry, your worry turns to stress. Your stress can turn to illness with your health. It can be strokes. You can even cause a heart attack. So you want to you wanna get out of the worrying. Whatever it is that you're not sure of whether you're able to get or achieve or do, you have to go to your Heavenly Father in prayer and then believe that He's going to do what He said, okay? If this is about your simple needs, then you should know your Heavenly Father will provide your needs, but you have to believe it to receive it. If this is about something that you're trying to get that you want, you know you need to put the work in for it, but you need to release the worry because the worry is keeping you stagnant. So this card is saying, don't worry, be happy. Put the positivity of happy in this. Put a smile on your face. Okay? You don't, you, you, look, what you put out there is what you're going to get back. So if you put out negative energy, you're going to get negative energy back from everybody who comes around you. Okay? If you put out positive energy, you're going to receive that positive energy back. Have you ever noticed that when you went to a store and you go to go in the store and you hold and you're going out the door and you hold the door for somebody else? That person is really appreciative and they say thank you and then they may hold the door for the next person. You want to cause a domino effect of happiness and positive vibes in your life so that you're not stagnant and stuck and not getting the things that you need or want. We Come on, I talk about this on the channel all the time. There should not be anybody in a worry mode at all. Okay? Go to your Heavenly Father in prayer. Release it and let them deal with it. Find peace within your heart. Okay, this is very important. Okay, this came up first, and I know it came up for a reason. Okay. Okay, so the first card says you have to go out there and love what you are and who you know you are in terms of your craft. So going out, you need to love what you are and who you are in terms of your craft. So if you have a gift, you sing. And your gift is to sing to the world. Sitting at home, watching TV, is not participating in your gift. Okay, the TV is a distraction. Turn off your TV, get out there. And say, even if you want to start in your bathroom, singing to yourself. Okay, then maybe when you're going for a walk, sing. Okay, sing in nature. But you want, if, if, if your, your gift is to sing, sitting on your, on your gift is not using your gift. Using your gift is how you potentially can help. Like, say one day you're walking down the street and you're singing. Somebody who's riding by or walking by hears you. And maybe they have contacts. And maybe they know somebody that can help you with your singing and get you in a place where you want to be. You'll never know unless you try. You have to put yourself out there. And that's the thing if you're a dancer, if you have the gift of gab, you can be a motivational speaker, okay? If you're in a religious term, if you are a minister, it's supposed to be a minister of God, and you're discouraged because you don't have a church, you don't have a foundation, you're never going to get one sitting at home worrying. You got to get out there and participate and put the work in to get what you want. And that's the same thing with any dream, any short-term goal, any long-term goal, okay? Faith without works is what? Finish the rest. Faith without works is what? Okay? I want I want to see some answers to that, okay? Uh, the power for creating a better future is contained in the present moment. You create a future by creating a good present. So what you do in your present is what's going to help your future. We should know this, okay? If you're lingering in your past, regretting and not forgiving yourself for what maybe you played a part in your past or what somebody else did in your past, then you're not even in the present. You're still in the past. So you have to forgive anything that was done to you in your past. And then you have to forgive anything that you did to anyone else in your past. And then move first, first in your present. And then what you build in your present will help build your future. Okay? So that's important to know. Okay? It, if it's in you, keep following your dream no matter what. 
Now this says, if it's in you, if you have a dream and you want to achieve that dream, it shouldn't be any if it's in you. Keep following that dream no matter what is what this should be saying. Keep following your dream. Keep believing. Keep that positivity going. Stop dwelling on it. Put it out there in the atmosphere. Let it go. And know that it's going to work itself out, okay? We can't sit up there and say, oh, I want this. Why hasn't it come yet? It's been three days. What are you doing to make your dream happen? happen you're sitting up here complaining and that's putting negativity in the world you don't want to do that if you did a dream and there's something you can do to help it then you get up there and start working on it that's what i had to do i wrote a bunch of poems as you can see i have lots and lots of poems okay and i wanted to share my poems with the world but i knew that it had to be something that i had to do i was afraid at first to come on and do youtube videos i didn't know the slightest bit about doing them I went to my Heavenly Father in prayer, and he gave me the vision on how to set up my, my channel and let me know that there's nobody else out there doing what I'm doing. And eventually, people will see me. I just have to believe that people will see me and that people will love me. And like I said, I've always been on this channel based on quality over quantity, okay? But I also know that there's more people that needs to hear the positive affirmations, that you got this motivation. There's people that need to hear these poems that's maybe been through something in their life. They've experienced heartbreak and loss. You know, they need motivation on how to get past that. Okay? That's why I'm on here doing what I do. And I figured out a way to not only share my poems, but to also give back. So that's the reason why. Why is it why is a, a poem channel? We cash giveaways because I also like to give back. So everything that I like to do, I incorporate it into my video, into my channel, so that I can do what I like to do freely. This puts a smile on my face, and it puts a bigger smile on my face when I have honest people, people who are deserving, people who love what they see and what they watch. That's why I'm on here, okay? So, yeah, okay? Keep following your dreams, no matter what. Keep following them, okay? Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. So what they're saying by this, failure is the condiment, okay? Condiments is like what? Mayonnaise, ketchup. You, you make a sandwich, you have a burger, and if you like mayonnaise and ketchup on it, it's the extra flavor. Like the burger is okay, but it tastes even better with ketchup and mayonnaise on it, right? So when you fail at something, you don't give up, is what they're saying. You tried it, it didn't work. Now try to figure out how to come at that situation from a different perspective. And don't give up, okay? Okay, that will help you. If you try it 5, 10, 15 different ways and it doesn't work, then go back to the drawing board and figure out why it's not working. Each time, you should have a question for what you did not do or what you missed, okay, until you get it right, okay? But you never give up. Never give yourself an excuse to fail, okay? Excuse me. Okay, so positive vibes only, y'all. You know this channel is all about positive vibes, okay? Good things are going to happen. Listen, um, dreamers, and anyone new watching, anyone new watching, you came to my channel. My channel is about positive vibes and, and, su and success. And I'm sure a lot of people, since they've been watching my channel, has success, success stories. Oh, I'm sorry. Success stories that they can tell about how good God has been in their life, how receiving my message could have helped them. Because I do channel messages too. So how maybe something in the channel message that I gave them Help them get themselves back on their path. Okay? So good things are going to happen. You have to believe this. Believe this. Claim it, y'all. Claim that good things are going to happen to you. Okay? Listen. Who's out there not doing the work? We got the card. Just do it. And I know when that comes up, somebody's hesitating and not putting their all into it. Okay? The work is not going to do itself. You have to get out there and do it. Okay? Just do it. 
Let's make today beautiful. We always get this. And I always say, don't just make today beautiful. We want to try to make every day beautiful. Stay in a positive vibe. I know there are going to be times when the devil is going to tempt us or, or, or try to come against us. Okay, but you got to fight hard. Stay in Christ and believe. Okay, but you want to put positive vibes in every single thing that you do. Okay, and that's how you get positive results. Okay. 2525 five just came up. That's a good number. It's two and five. Five is change, y'all. And then number two, um, someone can look that up in a spiritual um, number two and tell me what that is. Two, two. And we put two, two together. Two, two is four. So that could be something, too. So let's look up two and four. We know five is change. And somebody can put that in the comments. What uh, the spiritual representation for two is, what the spiritual representation for four is, okay? And five. I'm going to claim five. For change across this channel, for anyone who's dealing with something in their life that has been stagnant, I'm asking them, my Heavenly Father to assist them and the angels to assist them so that that can be changed. There will be no more stagnancy, okay? So I'm hoping that what I did today, based off of my subscriber, her name was Dorothy Thompson. She left a, a comment in the um, section that she was looking forward to um, my uplifting words and my poem. And I came on here to, to do just that, to provide a poem and some uplifting words for not only Dorothy Thompson, but everybody who watches my channel, whether you're new or whether you're already a dreamer. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my poem, the announcements that you got this and my positive affirmations. Now let's finish up with this empowering question, y'all. I'm going to pin this in the comment section too. So uh, let's make it good. We want a good, empowering question. Something to think about. Something to look forward to. Whatever way it comes to us, okay? A powering question for my dreamers and anyone new watching, please. One powering question. Oh, almost. You know I take the flip energy, y'all. One empowering question, please. Is doing that again? One empowering question, please. For my dreamers and anyone new watching. Oh, it flipped. Look, y'all, it flipped inside the deck. It was like that. Okay? So this is our empowering question for today. And you know what? I think I got this before, but in a different way. So it says, if this was my last day, so if this was your last day, would you be satisfied with your life? This is a very good question. Very good question. You want to know why this is good? Because it's saying to you that if you knew today was your last day, have you done everything in your life that you wanted to do? Not everything that somebody else wanted you to do. Everything that you wanted to do. And if you have not done that, why? Okay? And knowing that this is your last day, what would you have done differently? Okay? So I'm going to put these two questions in the comment section on this video. And I'm going to pin the comment. And you can either answer in the pinned comment section or you can just answer on the video. On the comments in the video. Okay? I'm going to read it again. If this was your last day, would you be satisfied with your life? Okay? Reading it from y'all point of view, not just mine. Okay? And then, what would you have done differently if it wasn't? Okay? Now, this is a longer video than I normally do. I normally come on and jump on for 16 minutes. Okay? I needed to share this information with my dreamers. I'm so glad that I was able to do so. So, that's it. Thank you for taking time out of your productive day. Bye, dreamers.